Hey guys, Danny Johnson here and just giving you an update on the Project GT. So my twin brother and I went out to where we grew up as kids and where we had our V6 Mustangs and drove the car around just how we used to with our V6s. And so uh, you might want to turn up your speakers here, but uh, we're going to give you a few slow drive-bys with some stock exhaust. And it is nice. You can hear the V8 sound for sure, something we would have envied as kids. But uh, anyway, obviously not very loud. And then out of the corner of our eye, we did see a Supra as we were cruising around, and there's big oil slick behind it. it. Looks like they pulled the motor on it. So anyway, cool to find that. Well, finally gave it a good oil change, and uh, I brought oil with me down there when I brought the car, but it was still pretty good. But uh, anyway, then I went and took my dog for a walk. She's such a good girl, very patient with me, and I'm always working on the car, and so I want to, you know, make sure that I'm still taking care of her and that she's happy and not just sitting around in the house all day. Uh, then took the Mach 1 to work for a few days because it was sitting and sitting and sitting, so... Uh, got my cabinets a little bit more organized in here as you may have seen in the other episode and uh, you can see a bunch of stuff under those green blankets that I have to put together for the new baby that's coming so anyway just trying to clean up the garage and keep enough room here between the Mach 1 and the cabinets so that nothing's going to hit in anything and you know, just keep cleaning things up as we go so uh, it's nice that uh, Things have cleaned up so well. My wife's doing really well. We went and did our <laughs> photo shoot for her maternity stuff. Then uh, took the car where it really needed it. Underneath here, if you, if you notice, this is quite the eyesore. Just the big black uh, gas tank that's covered in, in dirt. And so um, you really got to scrub this up because you're going to notice it no matter what. And so I took the foam brush and went after that and also just kind of on the wheels. Nothing really too serious. Just wanted to get it cleaned up nice enough where you know get most of the grime off. And I'm a little reluctant to spray the car with the power sprayer since it does have a few spots where some of the uh, flaking of the paint is happening. So just kind of went to degrease the wheels a little bit and uh, go after that gas tank where I can hit it with some armor all. And that'll make a huge difference because I've noticed a few times with the car sitting there parked in the uh, driveway uh, when I'm across the street or you know coming back. All right, so $2.93, but a lot cleaner than I would have done it in my own driveway. So anyway, we'll go with that. So I know what you're thinking. I was thinking the same thing too. No way I'm going to get my brand new floor mats dirty, so into the trunk they went and got the car home. Now I did pull the badge off of the first fender, which was actually the uh, the different white 
from the 2000 V6 that we got our parts from. It was a crystal white, and that badge came off pretty good. I took the badge off of uh, this other one, the Oxford white panel fender that we put on, and it didn't fare as well. It was already broken on the tail, so I wasn't really too concerned about it. But uh, went ahead and I got the GT badge back on, so that's the factory one. Uh, the GT badges, if you go to buy them, they no longer have the guide pin at the top. It's just the flat one like what you would get on the trunk. At least that's all I've been able to find. So uh, I was glad that I was able to reuse the factory badge because uh, it has that guide pin so you know you're getting it pretty well straight. And uh, anyway, so good to have the GT badge back onto the side. Okay, this tire foam is my favorite thing to use for the gas tank. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and spray it down and get it nice and clean. Uh, when you're back a ways, you really do notice that it makes a huge difference when you're looking at the cars. You don't even have to be down too low, but just from a distance, it's one of the, the bigger things that you can see. It's kind of a shady day here, so I don't know how well you'll see it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and spray down that uh, gas tank and get her shining like new. This is good stuff. Just let it foam and soak for a minute. Wipe it down pretty good too if you want. So I'm just taking old sock here and just getting it clean. You can see, I don't know if you'll see it on this camera, but it makes a big difference. Such a big gas tank. You can see it on the other cars too. So anyway, now we're just gonna take our Sock here and go around to the wheels. Two for one. I do have a few parts here that, uh, you know, here's like the old door, the first one that was dented pretty bad. Still has good glass, still has a few things. I took uh, the radio and some of the electronics out of it in case it gets wet. Got the spare hood that I'm not sure if I'll use or not. You know, and a few other parts floating around and starting to look like a salvage yard here. Eight, eight rear end here and uh, so I don't know I'll have to do something with it decide if I want to list them or or just keep them around but there's lots of good parts and you never know which ones you're gonna need they have been working real well on the park that's behind our house and as you can see it's coming along really well and they're getting the trees in now ready to do the grass so we have had a lot of dust up in the air so the cars got a little bit dirty and it does sleep outside Overall, I am really excited about this park because uh, it's a really nice view from my office. And so it's coming along. It was supposed to be done over a year ago, but uh, they're making some progress. And as I edit videos, I enjoy the view. Yes, my minions finished my park. So anyway, project's coming along little by little and got other projects in the works too. You probably saw this whole dash over here for my brother's bullet that he got. So we'll be doing a heater core and you know a few things on it too. So uh, you know I've been at work covering some of the other management while they've been gone. And so uh, it'll be my turn at the end of December and I plan on getting a lot more car stuff going. So anyway, stay tuned and I'll keep you updated with any updates on the car and uh, you know right now it's good and I drive it a lot and I'm really enjoying it in its stock form probably gonna move towards some exhaust work and I'm not sure if I'll just do off-road H and listen to that through the factory mufflers or do a cat back on it because an SLP cat back with stock cats actually sounds pretty good so anyway that's the update for now thanks for watching